Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and we're going to be playing some Dragon Quest Builders. And this episode, guys, is going to be awesome. It's going to be the final, final battle against the Golem. The giant Golem that everybody was talking about. It turns out that dude is real. There's like a little build up to this final battle, and you have to keep talking to LaRouche, and he explains that the reason why the Golem turned on everybody was because when the Dark Lord, well, the Dragon Lord attacked, everybody fled to the castle that we found early on in the game, if you can remember, where we found the stone stockade. And when rations got low, you know, food got low, yada, 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 they all started stealing off each other and all of that, you know, as people do in desperate times. And yeah, the Golem saw it as a threat. Because, you know, why wouldn't he? <laughs> and, yeah, he decided to destroy everything. So, because we have all come back and I've built everything in here, he sees it as a threat. And now we're going to show him that it's not a threat by destroying him. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> right. The fiend that rule over the monsters of this land is none other than the same golem that watched over Cantlin. Yes, we know, Rolo. Eh, if you could slay this golem, the darkness will be dispelled and light will return to Cantlin. Beautiful. Uh, make sure you got enough wrecking balls and Cantlin shields. I think I have. Mm. Let's go for it. Uh, oh yeah, LaRouche had a little heart-to-heart -heart moment saying that he knew about this all along and he didn't flee because having lived here with everybody, you know, he, he loved it basically. He loved just, yeah, living with everybody, living with Pippa, Rolo and his random sayings and, you know, hello, is he jumping in somewhere? Whoa, hello, what's going on? Hey, hey. Everybody's gone. No splat trick. Ah, I like splat trick as well. Oh wow! The brick and mortar slaughterer. Beautiful. Golem. Right. Now, guys, I have got some of this super duper food. I did a bit of farming. Right, where's he? Yeah. Right. If I pop that one down. Beautiful. Where's he going now? Over this way? I have got two shields, just... Just in case. Whoa. Where's he going? Ah! Oh, can I get there? Can I get there? Come on. Boo, yeah. Oh, hide behind the shield. Oh, it tells me what to do. Look in the bottom right. Oh, hello. Spinny man. Right, is he going to get dizzy? Yes. Come on. There we go. I think that got it. If not, that one got it. That one got it. Now, right underneath him. I'll put two down. Why not? One for good measures. Yay! We got the first hit. Oh, wow. Look at him. It's huge. Whoa! Where's he gone? No. Oh, he calls for backup. Right. Eat this. Eat this and let's go to tap. Oh, hello, guys. Yeah, you. Whoa, hello, Golem. Wow. Whoa, is he wrecking my base? I hope not. Where is he? Whoa. He's trying to destroy my base. No. Can I get there in time? Come on. Please, please, please. Oh. That was lucky. I mean, a good tip, guys. Having fought him again after such a long time. Make sure you've got more than one Cantlin shield. <laughs> I mean, you could always cheese the game and get nine of them, I suppose. And just sort of, you know, learn where he spawns, but it seems very... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It seems very pointless to me. Right. There we go. That one should get him. Should send him down. Beautiful. Pop another two down. I've got 29 left. Beautiful. Look at that. He will never defeat me. 
Ah, uh, look how big he is. Of course, for backup, I've still got all my buffs on. Wow, there's five of them. Yeah. Oh, hello. Ah, no. Stop bonking me on the head. Whoa, dude. Rawr. That dude, like... He packs a punch. Well, a foot. <laughs> should I say? Because I mean he is jumping on my head. Right, where's he going? Flies into a frenzy. What's he going to do? Whoa, dude. You stay over there. I don't need any of that. Oh, is that going to get him? Is this it? Is this going to be the final wrecking ball? Come on. Yes! We did... Whoa, what's that? That's beautiful. We did it. Look at that. Beautiful. I obtained the tarnished token. And I can make an ancient emblem out of it. Hmm. Beautiful stuff. Are they all going to come back? Oh, wow. Um, They just sort of popped up. Okay, let's talk to Rolo. By my shiny white teeth. He really does amaze me. You did it. You slew the golem. The city of Canton is saved and it's all because of you. Thank you, Hammer. Thank you. Hmm, where did that rusted medal you're holding come from? Could, could it be the legendary... The legendary what? That token you took from the top of Golem, I knew what it was the moment I laid my eyes upon it. Rusted though it may be, there's no doubt that uh, that medal is the ancient emblem of legend. The Cantlin Chronicles explain that where this city fell to the monsters, the emblem was lost along with, along with it. Uh, hmm. Take it to the furnace and restore it to its former glory. Okay. Oh yeah, guys. I um, got a little bit bored and made a room just for the furnace. Look at it. It's beautiful. Right. What do I need? Oh. <clears throat> Typical. I need some of that oracle come... Oracle? I don't know. It's very awkward to pronounce. Right. Let's go and get some more of this super ore. Have we got any, like, right near where I spawn? No, typically. Wow. Right, guys. If you have a look at the top left, I have the attack up and the defense up. And both of those were from... The, the attack was from the Beanie Bunny Burger and from that cream of mushroom soup. And they literally just ran off, <laughs> which is typical, as I'm trying to explain what they are. And what they do is... The one raises your defense, one raises your attack, and it says for a short time. Now that lasted for the entire boss fight, which is awesome. So, you know, it might just be worth getting yourself loads of those for when you're running around. I didn't realize just how good they were. Wait, zero damage. Right, where is this stuff? It's like really scarce now, I can't find it. There it is. Why is it whenever I say, like, I can't find this, and then I always manage to find loads of it? Come on, explode. Hey. Ooh, some rubies. Beautiful stuff, right. Let's jump out here, say goodbye to this place, and let's go and restore this emblem. Ah, oh, such a soft landing. Right, let's go. Kapow. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. Five. Six. Six hits. Wow. That must be important. Marvellous work. By my soft and slender fingers, you've done it. <laughs> I love Rolo. Right. Go to your banner of hope and offer the emblem to the skies. Alright. 
Ten medicinal herbs. This late on. Right. Yay, thanks, Rolo. Right, let's... Alright. Oh, do I need to use it? <laughs> oh, what's going to happen? Where's it gone? Wow, that looks awesome. Oh, is it getting rid of it? Yay, everywhere's sunny again. Look at that. That's beautiful. The light returns to Cantlin. Nice. You have done well. This land has been freed from the Dragon Lord's evil influence and its people can now rebuild it by their own power. Nice. But do not forget, my child, there are so many other people in this world who still need your help. Is there? By my big round head. <laughs> look, Hammer, look. The sky is so bright, it's so big and blue and beautiful. That night the people of Cantlin hold a banquet to celebrate the return of the light and to thank Hammer for his heroic efforts. Why, thank you, villagers. Yeah, I'll just leave that there. And the same with this. Then morning comes. Bwahahaha. <laughs> so you've finally woken up. Have you, Hammer? I laughed so hard last night, I thought my sides might burst. Who would have thought LaRouche had such a wicked sense of humour? And when I tried Pippa's cooking, well, I thanked my lucky stars that I survived the first spoonful. <laughs> By the way, Hammer, late last night I saw a strange pillar of light rising into the sky over the eastern mountains. Uh, right. Should we go and have a look, guys? Let's go and have a look. I can see it, look. On the... There we go. Let's go and have a look, guys. Let's not get burnt on the way out. Hmm, those evil idols. Haha, <laughs> look. All the remains from the build up to the boss fight. They were ruthless, guys. Honestly, they were ruthless. Yum. Right, that looks like quite a trek, guys. So, I'm going to do my magic, and I will see you all when we're stood in front of it. And here we are again, guys. Right, let's, um, I can remember this little place. And this beam of light. Where is it? Oh, hello. What's this? The light you see before you is a portal to the next land you must free from. Ooh, very nice. Right. Will not survive the journey. What? The items, the knowledge, and the strength that you have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light, you will lose everything. Oh. Hmm. Okie dokie, shall we go through it? Let's go. Yeah, let's see how long it took me to complete this first chapter. Oh, hello, Rolo. Hmm. Right, wow. Rolo's actually being normal. Go on, my boy. Step into the light. I'm already stood like in the middle of it, Rolo. Are you blind? Right. What is it? Oh, am I going to take off? Am I going to soar? Whoa. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. 61 days. I only died once. That is not bad. Ah, there we go, guys. I completed one. Oh, no, I didn't even complete that. Haha, <laughs> that's brilliant. 
Yeah, these are the challenges to complete, you know, if you want to, complete the chapter within 20 days, build your base level to level 5, defeat the three dragons, build a cantling garden, and repair the Hammerhood's graveyard. Defeating the three dragons, guys? I think I might do a video on that. Just let me know in the comments what you think. And if I should. So, right, let's carry on. Will this just take me? Yes. And look at that, guys. We'll be going on to Rymulda next. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to end the video off here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, guys.